Lecture 11.6, Gabriel's Horn. Suppose we take the curve y equals 1 over x and revolve it around the x-axis where x is between 1 and infinity. We get a three-dimensional shape that is infinitely long. This shape is known as Gabriel's horn. The name comes from the tradition that the Archangel Gabriel will blow a horn to announce Judgment Day. It is also called Torricelli's trumpet after Italian mathematician Evangelista Torricelli, who was the first to study this shape. Torricelli lived from 1608 to 1647. He was a friend and colleague of Galileo and succeeded Galileo as professor of mathematics at the University of Pisa. Torricelli also worked in physics, astronomy, and atmospheric science and invented the mercury barometer. We can find the volume of this shape using the disk method. We have the limit as b goes to infinity of pi times the integral from 1 to b of 1 over x squared dx, where 1 over x is the radius. We can rewrite this as the limit as b goes to infinity of pi times the integral from 1 to b of x to the negative 2 dx. We can factor out the constant pi and evaluate the antiderivative. Now we have pi times the limit as b goes to infinity of negative x to the negative 1 evaluated from 1 to b. Plugging in our limits of integration, we get pi times the quantity, limit as b goes to infinity, negative 1 over b, minus negative 1 over 1. As b goes to infinity, our first term approaches 0, and so our volume is pi we were able to evaluate this improper integral. This infinitely long shape has a finite volume. Since it has a finite volume, if we could actually build a shape like this, it seems like we should be able to fill it up. This leads to the painter's paradox. If you filled Gabriel's horn with paint, would it hold enough to paint the outside surface? Logically, your answer might be, of course! If it is filled with paint, paint is already covering the inside surface, which is the same size as the outside surface. Remember, this is an infinitely long shape. You couldn't actually fill it because if you started pouring paint in the top, the paint would never reach the bottom. If you could fill the horn and the units of measurement were in feet, then it would hold 3.14 cubic feet of paint or 23.5 gallons. At the standard rate of coverage of 400 square feet per gallon, you should be able to cover 9,400 square feet of surface area. Since ddx1 over x equals negative 1 over x squared, the surface area would be given by the limit as b approaches infinity, 2 pi times the integral from 1 to b, 1 over x, 
times radical 1 plus negative 1 over x squared squared dx. We will simplify our notation by using infinity in the upper limit of integration. We have 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x times radical 1 plus 1 over x to the fourth dx. Finding a common denominator, we get 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x times radical x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth dx. Now we can take the x to the fourth out of the radical sign, and we get 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x times radical x to the fourth plus 1 over x squared dx. Or 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of radical x to the fourth plus 1 over x cubed dx. This looks challenging, but we have a trick we can use. The integral for the surface area is bounded below by a more simple integral. We know that the square root of x to the fourth plus 1 is always greater than the square root of x to the fourth. So, 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of radical x to the 4th plus 1 over x cubed dx is greater than or equal to 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of radical x to the 4th over x cubed dx. So 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of radical x to the 4th plus 1 over x cubed dx is greater than or equal to 2 pi times the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx. But we know the antiderivative of 1 over x dx. So now our integral is greater than or equal to 2 pi times the natural log of x evaluated from 1 to infinity. Since the limit as b approaches infinity of 2 pi ln x evaluated from 1 to b is infinity, the surface area is infinite. Or 23.5 gallons of paint will not be enough. Gabriel's horn is a theoretical shape with a finite volume and an infinite surface area. Of course, as long as we're dealing with the theoretical, our 23.5 gallons of paint would be sufficient as long as we could spread it in a layer that is infinitely thin.